All right, guys, go ahead. You ready? Are we ready? Guys, <laughs> I'm ready. I I'm think ready. we're going to go ahead with it. Welcome to the Red and Blue Review. We're going to be talking a little bit of football as we look ahead to what promises to be a really good season for Louisville and a uh, interruption of basketball season at Kentucky. Hello <laughs> to Daryl Bird of the Catspaws. Eventually, you got to move past basketball, Daryl, and go back to football. I am back to football, and Louisville, as we all know, we've talked about before. Louisville is going to have an undefeated season in football. But they got to get by the very first game. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, that's going to be probably We'll see. Good. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, say hello to Howie Lindsay of CardinalSports.com. If Louisville's going to be successful this year, it's all about Teddy Bridgewater and the, the improvement of that offense. I think the defense is going to be fine, but we'll be talking about offense today. Yep, we're going to focus on offense. The uh, lightning round will get us started right now. The lightning round on the Red and Blue Review is brought to you by the Kentucky Office of Highway Safety. Great weather this time of year. A lot more motorcycles on the road, guys, so be sure to share the road with motorcycles. Well, what's hot for Kentucky football this year may be a throwing quarterback. You know how Mummy loved to chuck it and duck it when he was coaching uh, for the Cats uh, back many years ago, and now it looks like that Joker wants to start letting it fly in 2012. I mean, we had to be balanced, and we'd like to be a team that has has about 80 plays, which you know, and uh, you know, we'd like to to, to throw it about 45 of those 80. I know it's not equal, so I don't want anybody to say, "Well, that's bad math." I know what math <laughs> is, right? but I'd like to throw it about 40. If you if you throw it 45 times and running it 30 35 times, that's balanced to me. You know, that's balanced. <laughs> And the only bad math fans care about is that five and seven is not good <laughs> and what they were last year. So you better do something to fix that real quick. Throwing the ball, the fans will like it because, let's, let's admit it, it's, it's more entertaining. It's what the NFL is built on. you got to be able to throw the ball. And they said they're going to air it out, and they're going to air it out deeper this year. Maxwell Smith for one. Patrick Tolles, the freshman, coming in. Another, Morgan Newton, see how he recovers from surgery. He should be getting back soon, so we'll see. But air it out, I'm all for it. Quarterback play is what's hot at Kentucky's rival, Louisville, coming up this football fall. Teddy Bridgewater will be the toast of Cardinal Nation. We have us an outstanding quarterback in Teddy Bridgewater. He's still young. He's still growing. And then you have a, an adequate backup in Will Stein. And then you have two players right there at that quarterback position that can take this football team and go lead it. Because now just look at this spring practice. Now we are able to go out to spring practice and, and practice and, and just keep the flow of practice going and the tempo going just because of the, our quarterbacks were able to generate the offense. <laughs> You can talk about the importance of an offensive tackle all you want, you know, a great linebacker all you want. If you've got a great quarterback in college football, you can be a very good team. And I think Louisville's got a really good one in Teddy Bridgewater. And I think Will Stein is, is more than adequate. I mean, that's what Charlie said. But I think you've got those two guys leading the, the Cardinals all the way through the summer workouts. And I, I think that's going to be the key to Louisville's success this next year. I can't wait to see what Teddy Bridgewater is going to become in 2012. Howie, uh, obviously Bridgewater had a chance to participate in spring ball last year year. Mm -hmm. uh, tell me the biggest difference you see but in the in the what 18 months now that he's been on campus. Obviously he's a little physically bigger. He's picked up right. the good kind of weight but what else do you notice about him? That, that's huge. I mean it, having that extra 18, 20 pounds mm -hmm. is big in terms of being confident and able to, to take a hit, that sure. kind of thing. I think the other thing is he can call out of plays now. I think with Sean Watson as the offensive coordinator, he's very comfortable with him. And Sean says, okay, these are the three plays. Whichever one is, is comfortable for you, Teddy. And I think he loves that. What's not hot at the University of Kentucky is the running back's position. Now, Darrell was talking about the fact that Kentucky is going to try to throw it more. It may be because they're going to have a hard time running it because the running backs are kind of what you call Smurfs. They're small and blue. You know, I think our, what we do offensively, I mean, these, these are the type of backs that, that uh, have uh, uh, had success in this offense that we throw the ball to. We, we, we try to... Um, hit some outside runs. Uh, when we're trying to hit the inside runs, it's usually zone cutbacks, so it gives a little guy a chance to, which has, have, has good footwork, a chance to come out the backside of some of the runs. So, um, But they're not real physical guys, so it's going to take a lot of them, you know, because they're not real physical guys. The problem is, and one being Josh Clemens, who we had on the screen, is a very good, very powerful runner, hurt his knee mid midway through the season, missed a lot of, of last year. The problem when you have small running backs who are quick and you're trying to get out in the open field, is that you're playing in the SEC, yep. and they're going to get beat to death, and you're going to end up using every running back available. You know, there is no Trent Richardson you can give it to and give you 30 carries and just pound it in there. 
they've got to do what they can with, with little quitbacks, get out into the open field. To me, it's a lot, it's not deception, kind of an illusion. We, we know we can't run down your throat, but we're going to get into a space, find a crease, and squirt through it. And, but at some point, they've got to start getting some running backs in who can actually pound it, like an R2 spinner yeah. from back in the day durable enough to handle throughout the season and get them some tough yards that they're going to have to get. Daryl, in there some point, I appreciate what Joker's saying, how he's going to try to run the offense with the players that he's mm -hmm. got. But you and I have been covering this a long time. You've eventually got to stick the ball in the middle of the field yep. and push it north-south. When you need third and one, and you're yep. going to need third and one a lot, what are you going to do about it? They've got Josh Clemens who can get that yard. He's got to stay healthy, and that's mm -hmm. awful hard to do in this league. You're right. What's not hot for the University of Louisville could be the one thing that could derail them, and those are lofty expectations. The cars between now and the time the season ends are going to hear all about how great they are, how they're going to run the table, uh, you name it. Uh, but one piece of press clipping that Charlie keeps close is the one from last year that had that Louisville team ranked 90th. I just know this, but because of what we have coming back, a lot of people think we should be picked, but it's it's all about us too, just making sure that we stay within ourselves too, and just know our just just know where our weaknesses and our strengths and where we can go get better, and not worry about what everyone says. Because I, I have a uh, there's a sign sitting out there on that door that uh, where. Uh, last year, I think we were picked like 90th in the country with all the. So I leave that up. So I want them to see that every day. So you guys, if you want this program, just look at that. Look where you were and what everyone has said. So let's not buy into it. Let's just continue to work. Oh, the old lack of respect card. It's one yeah. of the coach's <laughs> favorites. And, and it, it's funny that Charlie is hanging on to that press clipping. And, and you know, if you want to do a coach a favor, to print an article saying that his team can't do something. They yep. can't, you know, they can't beat Tennessee for however many years in a row or whatever like that. And, and eventually they're going to get enough of that steam going for their team to say, hey, we can really do this this year. And, and with, with this team, Charlie's going to keep reminding them that, hey, people didn't believe in you last year and you proved them wrong. Don't believe everybody saying that you're going to go win, run the table this year. You know, it, 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 it's, it's interesting how he's going to try to twist that but that's certainly what he's doing. It's going to be hard for him to do, and here's why. I remember last year, right before the Kentucky-Louisville game, he came in and he talked about this is Kentucky State, this is Kentucky's year. And I told Charlie after that press conference, I said, you guys are going to shock the world. Mm -hmm. Because he had the ability, Howie, to go in there and, and kind of it's us against the world. Yes. This year, he's got to figure out a way to do it totally different. Right. Because instead of telling them how, how bad they are, mm -hmm. Uh, he's got to convince them they're not as good as everybody, as everybody says. says they are. And that's going to be extremely tough, especially yeah. when you have kids on campus saying, you guys mm -hmm. keep winning, you know, da-da-da-da. And, and it's going to be real tough, especially for a team filled with freshmen, sophomores, juniors, to not think, we are pretty good. But the one thing about Charlie, certainly with the experience he had at Florida, right. where he had all great teams down there, he would certainly know how to handle that. Sure. I mean, he, he's been a part of great winners, so he's got he's to keep their head down. That's, that's going to be tough to do. The buzz at the University of uh, Kentucky as we head into football season is the fact that the quarterbacking situation is a little bit in flux. In fact, Randy Sanders, the offensive coordinator, says Patrick Tolles, the freshman, may get a chance to play this fall a lot. Patrick's going to have an opportunity. You know, it's uh, it will be very nice to get Morgan back because I, I know Morgan's played in big games and, and we've won big games with him at quarterback. Um, you know, Max is coming. He's he's coming along. Really pleased with what Jacob Russell does. You know, he he has his niche, things he does well, things uh, he doesn't do as well. But uh, Patrick's going to get his chance. And, and it doesn't matter whether you're a freshman, senior, been here two years or not, the best player is going to play. And, and if he proves to be the best player, then he'll play. Did, did you hear Louisville's football team is going to go undefeated this year? I did hear <laughs> the expectations. Yes. I've heard yes. expectations. The, foot, the quarterback situation in Kentucky is interesting to me because Maxwell Smith has been through spring camp, and he does have parts of one season under his belt. But he didn't have very much experience his senior year in high school, so Patrick Tolles is not that far behind as far as you would think that he would be. He's going to have a chance to come in in fall camp. He'll get some reps. We know Joker's stance on giving true freshmen reps and a chance to see what they can do. If he can seize that, this is going to be a really interesting race during fall camp, I think. One of the buzzes coming out of uh, the camp with the Cardinals is the fact that last year injuries and inexperience had a lot of doubters casting their lines toward that offensive line. Well, now with the guys back healthier, a year in a weight room, this year one of the strengths of this Louisville offense could actually be those big guys up front. I was just telling Coach Borbs that I really like our offensive line and just how that line that has really come together and, and is playing very well in the spring practice for us. 
And there's no question, we're going to run the football. So the way we're going to run the ball is that offensive line had to be able to move people over the seams in the uh, defense as far as and let our running backs run behind those seams. It's fun to hear the buzz around Louisville football these days because they start talking about, all right, John Miller's back and, and you've got the big fella mm -hmm. in, in Mario Benavidez coming back and he's a, a national award candidate and he's, he's actually healthy for the first time in a long time and Cupper and, and they start, there's a real buzz there mm -hmm. and, and there's, there's a, a buzz that I haven't heard around the offensive line in a little while and then I love the way Charlie Strong talks sometimes. He's like, hey, those guys, huh? Those guys. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's really all he has to say. I mean, he doesn't have to pump them up, but I think there's a quiet confidence that, hey, those guys could be pretty good. We come back, we'll tell you what should give confidence to the Cats heading into the football season and concern for the Cards as we head to the break. Daryl's going to tell us about the basketball yearbook. Celebrate. Appreciate it, sir. Still hanging on to that national championship. Celebrate is a 136 page book with more than 100 photographs. Complete season recap from start to beginning with. A lot of great photos, a lot of double truck photos, which are really neat to do. Order online, magazine.catspaws.com. Have you driven a Ford lately? Well, stop by Allstate Ford and test drive a new Edge or Explorer. Or visit us online at allstatetrucks.com. Allstate Ford, on the Watterson at Poplar Level Road. Buying your next VW from Bachman Volkswagen will be a great experience. No games or gimmicks, competitive prices, and a huge inventory make number one Bachman the place to get your Volkswagen. The all-new 2012 Jetta, an IHS top safety pick, is a great vehicle and fun to drive. Or get the sporty all-new 2012 Volkswagen Beetle. It's back and better than ever. Come to number one Bachman Volkswagen today to get your new Volkswagen before someone else does. I was on top of the world, but now I'm below it. I had everything going for me, then I had to blow it. My dreams, hopes, and aspirations were all in the grip of my hand. But alcohol caught my attention, and now it's in command. Join the club at Sam Swope Auto Group. When you service a vehicle at any Sam Swope dealership, you automatically become a Service VIP Rewards member. You get member pricing on parts and service, lost key return, and emergency roadside assistance. Plus, you can earn points that qualify you for discounts on your next vehicle purchase, up to $2,500. The best part is becoming a member is free. Become a member today at any Sam Swope dealership. Nobody walks away because everybody saves. Allstate Ford, seven-time recipient of Ford Motor Company's President's Award for Customer Satisfaction, with 13 Ford certified service technicians and a best-in-class parts department. Business or personal, we are the truck experts. Allstate Ford, on the Watterson at Poplar Level Road. The big thing I would like to see us do as, as a former player, man, I, we, we need to win an SEC championship. We need to contend for a national championship and be as proud as our basketball team, you know. Hey, it sounds like crazy talk, but when David Hopewell was playing for the Cats back in the mid-70s, they really were SEC and mm -hmm. national contenders. Absolutely were. as an outstanding team. Took out the likes of Penn State, mm -hmm. one lost seasons, a, yeah, a bit of time ago, but it happened. Coming up in our Game Time Storylines, we're going to look at the strengths and the weaknesses for the Cats and the Cars as we head toward college football season 2012. A lot of positions to be concerned about if you're a cat. One of them not to uh, create any worries for you is the tight end position, which is as solid now as it's been since the days of Jacob Tammy. You know, you haven't heard a lot about Tyler Robinson because he's kind of one of those guys that just rolls up his sleeves and goes to work and, you know, doesn't say a lot. So uh, not real flashy. He's a guy that likes to get his nose blooded and bloody people's nose. Uh, and, uh, and he catches the football. Okay, and, and that's what he did today. He makes big plays for us. 
Uh, really one real tough catch that it's thrown a little bit behind him, but he goes up and, and, and uh, catches the back end of it and makes a big play for us. So um, I'm really pleased with our tight end. And he should be. He's got really good tight end. Tyler Robinson can catch the ball. Anth uh, Ronnie Shields can catch the ball. Anthony Kendrick was such a highly uh, sought after recruit four star player out of Texas back in the day is, is coming on. These guys are huge. They can run block and catch the ball out in the open field, which they're going to need to do. They're going to try to stretch the field with speedy receivers, and when you do that, you've got a lot of availability to throw the ball to the tight end, nice safety valve, and that's what they're going to do. You would think with a team that's returning essentially three quarterbacks that had playing experience last year that quarterbacks would be the strength of this team. And Howie says uh, one of the really strong parts of the offense this year is actually going to be the running backs. And I hate to say it because every time I say a position could be your solid position, could be your best position, it kind of falls back on you, slap you in the face. But at the running back position, you, you have Brown, you have Dominique Brown, you have Sonoris Perry, you have Corbin Lamb, you have Jeremy Wright, you have four running backs that you can put the ball in their hands and they can make it happen. They can make you miss, they begin to run behind their pads, and they can be begin to run over people. But the running back position is a very solid position for us right now. How solid is that running back position? There, Kamal Hogan, who, uh, when he was coming out of high school, scouts in New Jersey said he is an NFL running back. Mm -hmm. He just moved to defense. So that, that is a good <laughs> sign for Louisville. They've got some guys back there who can really tote the ball. Sonoris Perry is a home run hitter. Corvin Lamb is a guy everybody's been buzzing about for two years since he signed out of Miami. A big time back. Um, and I think Louisville's going to be very strong at running back this year. Howie, when that could really get exciting for Cardinal fans is when you know you got a good running back core is when you get into that third and fourth quarter and fresh legs come in there mm -hmm. and just start running over folks, which is the style of football Charlie wants to play, especially late in the game. That could get really fun this fall. And, and when you got four guys who can tote it, I mean, that, that's what you'll do. You'll, you'll just keep you know, running them in, running them in, running them in. I would love to have like a Michael Bush type yeah. when you get in that third and fourth quarter and guys' legs are jelly already and he's just pounding them. That's what Dominic Brown could be, but he's, he's, he's about 225, not 250 like mm -hmm. Bush. <laughs> well, Kentucky will have some talent on the offensive side of the ball. Quarterback, a little bit of receivers, obviously the tight ends as we just talked about. But the weakness of the offense may well be the offensive line. And if that falters, nothing else matters. And you don't need 10. You know, we have, NFL rosters have got seven guys. You don't need 10. We need, we need two, three others. You know, uh, we need about eight guys that can play offensive line for us. You know, some of the guys are, uh, are interchangeable. The reason I put this down as the weakest position is because there was a lot of turnover. And that is a position where if those guys work, those five guys work as one. And when they work as one, things go really well, and your running back can do what he does, and the receivers and the quarterback has time. If they falter, you're in big, big trouble. Fortunately, Larry Warford, who is the top NFL prospect on the team last year, decided to come back for his senior year. So that's a nice place to start. Uh, Matt Smith is back at center. That's a place that's crucial. But the other guys have played some. They've got to develop, get those guys in there, and get up with, with five. like Joker says, you need five to seven who can play as one unit and know what everybody's thinking at the same time before they're ever going to go anywhere. The weakest position at the University of Louisville on the offensive side may sound like a bit of a misnomer when you consider that Devontae Parker is a wide receiver. But when you look at the depth at that position and the lack of real playmakers outside of him, that's one spot that the cards need to shore up. At wide receiver, we had to find the playmakers at wide receiver. You have Devontae Parker, you have uh, Andrea Smith, um, Eli Rogers, you have some guys there that can catch the football, Radcliffe, that can catch the football. Now when you catch the ball, can you make people miss? Can you get the positive yardage? Can you get the ball down the field? Can you make the big play? And that's what we're searching for at wide receiver right now. I remember hearing from a coach when, when this Charlie Strong staff first came on campus and they're like, I don't believe that we've got anybody on in the entire team where you can pass it to them in the flat, they make a guy miss, and take it to the house. Mm -hmm. And that's what they're so desperate to have. That's what they had at Florida. Mm -hmm. That's what he wants to have at Louisville. And that's what Eli Rogers, I think, could be. Um, but they, they just it long so much for, for having those playmakers. And I think that we see, saw little glimpses of that with mm -hmm. Devontae Parker. I think Michael Lee Harris could be something like that. Uh, but they, they just he, he longed so much to have a receiving core like they had at Florida. Yeah. Now, you can't replicate that. I mean, all those guys are in the NFL right. now. But if they can get something like that, boy, it sure make Teddy Bridgewater's happy. 
When we come back on the Red and Blue Review, we'll tell you which two players will be the key ingredients to Kentucky and Louisville having an outstanding football season. As we head to the break, though, Howie's going to tell us about cardinalsports.com. As we start towards this football season, the best place to get all your news and coverage, cardinalsports.com. Be sure to log on there and check out all the different information about uh, you know football, football recruiting. Watch highlight videos of the freshmen that are coming in, uh, you know, depth chart and rosters and it, it, discuss it with your fellow fans. Check it out, cardinalsports.com. Have you driven a Ford lately? Well, stop by Allstate Ford and test drive a new Edge or Explorer. Or visit us online at allstatetrucks.com. Allstate Ford, on the Watterson at Poplar Level Road. Buying your next VW from Bach and Volkswagen will be a great experience. No games or gimmicks, competitive prices, and a huge inventory make number one Bachman the place to get your Volkswagen. The all-new 2012 Jetta, an IHS top safety pick, is a great vehicle and fun to drive. Or get the sporty all-new 2012 Volkswagen Beetle. It's back and better than ever. Come to number one Bachman Volkswagen today to get your new Volkswagen before someone else does. I was on top of the world, but now I'm below it. I had everything going for me, then I had to blow it. My dreams, hopes, and aspirations were all in the grip of my hand. But alcohol caught my attention, and now it's in command. Join the club at Sam Swope Auto Group. When you service a vehicle at any Sam Swope dealership, you automatically become a Service VIP Rewards member. You get member pricing on parts and service, lost key return, and emergency roadside assistance. Plus, you can earn points that qualify you for discounts on your next vehicle purchase, up to $2,500. The best part is becoming a member is free. Become a member today at any Sam Swope dealership. Nobody walks away because everybody saves. Allstate Ford, seven-time recipient of Ford Motor Company's President's Award for Customer Satisfaction, with 13 Ford certified service technicians and a best-in-class parts department. Business or personal, we are the truck experts. Allstate Ford, on the Watterson at Poplar Level Road. The difference maker for UK football last year wasn't a player who was there, it was a player who wasn't there, Randall Cobb, but help could be on the way in 2012 in the form of DeMarco Robinson. Now, I worked a training camp one year with Joe Gibbs, and I can remember a, uh, a, um, uh, uh, one, of the, and one of our coaches meeting, there's something to be said for a guy, every time you have a scrimmage, he makes a play. Uh, and DeMarco Robinson is that guy. I mean, every time we came into this place, he made a huge play for us. And today he made a, a lot of big plays for us. So we think that he's one of our uh, uh, playmakers. He better be a playmaker. And the reason we put him down as a difference maker, not only is he a wide receiver, but he looks like he may be doing the punt returns as well. And one thing about UK football is that they haven't always been great, but their return game has always been really good. Mm -hmm. Derek Abney, Keenan Burton, Randall Cobb, DeMarco Robinson may be the next on that list. They've got to have the ability to make huge plays, not only on kick returns, but on deep threat. And they haven't had a really good deep threat, especially last year. He may answer that question as well. Dear, I thought that was one of the <clears throat> biggest gaps Kentucky had last year. You never, you had no sense that the special teams could do anything special. Now, I thought, to me, I mean, granted, some teams do it, 
But if you've got a defensive player back as your kickoff return man, mm. then you've got problems. <laughs> yeah. I mean, obviously some have done it, but I thought that was a bad sign. And you're right. They mm. need to be able – you're Kentucky and the SEC. You need to be able to break one every now and then to get some, some cheap points. Yeah. You know, nearly half the times that freshman Devontae Parker caught the football last year for Louisville, it went for a touchdown. That's as a <laughs> freshman. Uh, the sky could be the limit as he rolls into his sophomore season. Oh, he's continuing. I mean, you watch that catch today, he makes a, another catch. But, it, you know, you, you watch him, and he's gotten so much bigger and stronger, and it, and it has helped him. And, and now for him, it's, it's all about just reading the coverages and just understanding the whole package of the defense. And once that happens, then he really can take off and explode. But, and he's getting it. He is getting it, and I think the, the more he does get it, uh, in terms of reading the defense and in terms of getting the actual ball, the better for Louisville. If you've got a guy on the outside who can just out jump everyone, mm -hmm. I mean, that's what he did in high school and that's what he can do at Louisville too. He, he's just such an amazing athlete. If you've got that guy, it's such a difference maker because they have to account for him anywhere that he moves on the field. If you move to the other side, they got to move two guys over there and it just opens up things for the entire offense. So I think Devontae Parker could be the difference maker for Louisville this year. Uh, and I, I think. His potential is just limitless. Yeah. I think you just look at Louisville and who's out there. I know that you've got a lot of talented players, but I said last year that I think that of all the guys I see on the field, the next guy that's going to get his name up there is going to be Devontae Parker. I think that kid could be an All-American. If he stays three, four years, I think he'd be an All-American. And he's so good when the ball is in the air at making mm -hmm. that play. Yeah. And he, if for, for a guy as skinny as he is, he's got great balance, too. Mm -hmm. So he, even he, he'll make the play and then come down with it, and you'll think, oh, he's going to fall down, and then he runs into the end zone. I mean, he's, he's a big-time player. All right, we're about to close out the show, but I want to let the guys go without asking this one thing. Uh, offense or defense, which will be the most key in the Kentucky-Louisville football game, the offense or the defense? DB? Kentucky is going to be offense because you better be able to score. Louisville's going to score. You better be able to score with them. All right, and Howie? I think it's got to be Louisville's defense. I think they could – they might go into this game thinking, hey, we could get a shutout here. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't think they will, but they might. On the way to that undefeated season. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> we'll take a look at the defense later time, but that'll wrap us up for this time on the Red and Blue Review. I remember the moment clearly. I'll never forget that moment. As long as I live. I realized that moment. When we first saw the damage, these people really needed us. And I was going to make a difference right here in my community. Together with local responders, we cleared trees and collapsed walls. We had to get to the family trap beneath. As a citizen soldier, I made a difference. Be there for your community at NationalGuard.com.